Welcome to the Oni Sword Base uh, Legendary Tutorial for the speedrun. I'm too easy. I'm just going to go through the whole level uh, and show a variety of strats from fast ones to safe ones and in between as well. So I'm going to start with the default strat for the, for the beginning of the level. With your first sprint cycle, run over to the left here and grenade this group of grunts and then focus on these two jackals. Now we want to pick up a plasma pistol and then use a second sprint cycle to get under this cover. Reload the DMR and now start focusing on taking out jackals. There are a couple on the left and the rest of them should be coming from the right. So we want to be killing as many of these as possible before they get too far down the hill. Once it's clear, you're going to start focusing on elites, especially this ultra. Using this window to see if, whether it's clear or not. When it's clear, you can jump down. And then you're going to start playing on this high ground here. Prioritize jackals if there are any left, and then and grunts so that they won't get in the way of your EMPs. And then start finishing off the elites. If you see that their shields are already low, you can pepper them down. You don't have to do a full overcharge. Now unfortunately some grunts had hid down the hill and I couldn't get a clean spawn kill on these four skirmishes. I had to play a little bit safe once I saw the grunts. You need to always make sure that you have some uh, ammo in your plasma pistol and you take target locator plasma pistol and full health. Now this is a backup strat for if the first two jackals do not uh, drop a plasma pistol between them. So they have two needlers. So just pretend that these guys both had needlers. Same as normal, except we grab the sniper rifle. And then, just as usual, focusing on jackals. Also, keep an ear out for the, the phantom. If it's firing shots at you, you might want to move. You can see me doing that just there. Now we can use the sniper as a long range EMP to take down the shields of the elites and then finish them off with a DMI headshot. You can also go for sniper headshots, it's quite fast. You can, you can kill a major elite and two snipes if you headshot the second one, and three for an ultra if you headshot the third shot. Once you get to the second half of the clear, just pick up a plasma pistol and do the same thing. see me not walking forward until I'm ready to take out these skirmishes. You also might want to reload before doing that. See that time I ran out of ammo but it was okay. And now this is the fastest possible strat uh, for this beginning. You, It's heavily recommended to grind for a blue elite. Find a seed that has a consistent blue elite. Kill him with a combination of a shotgun and melee. And then we need to jump, because you could see, right before I paused, I heard a phantom shot. You want to jump to avoid that phantom shot. You don't want to lose any health here uh, to the phantom. I also need to grenade this group of grunts here. I'm going to keep moving. If there are any grunts in this uh, hallway, I want to shoot them. Especially if they are plasma pistol wielding grunts. But now once I have full shields and sprint, I'm going to go down. As soon as I get, start getting shot from these guys, I'm going to drop. Once I'm behind the cover, I'm going to stop sprinting and throw a grenade, bounce it off this canis uh, container. There will usually be some jackals standing around here. Now, what this grenade does is it makes the jackals dodge, and it also should explode and damage any uh, grunts or jackals that are not around the corner yet. So here you can see this explodes. It's going to deal with all the enemies in this area. And then we finish off our sprint cycle and get around. Now use your DMR defensively here if you don't hit the headshots. Spread out. Spread out even if you even if you miss a headshot on a on a skirmisher, it's still staggered and you don't need to deal with that skirmisher yet. If you're getting shot, switch targets. Now we want to fire some DMR shots before we paint this uh, target locate shot. Now you may be in the unfortunate situation of having to do some cleanup here. 
And in that case, it'll be a bit slower. But, uh... It's still faster. Also, certain seeds uh, are more likely for everything to die in one target locator. Either way, no matter what strat you're doing, you should be taking Plasma Pistol and Target Locator out of the courtyard. There is a slide you can hit here off this rock, onto the second rock. Either a Sprint Slide or a Couch Slide. The old Farragut station has its own comms array. That should bring us back online with command. Airview base has an anti-air battery that will help clear the skies. Another slide jump here. And now we're going to overcharge this ghost. Switch to target locator. And you only need enough boost to make it this short distance before we hop out and paint the target locator right next to the first button. Now drop seven rockets, so if you think you're too close, you can stop and wait a, wait a bit for the seventh rocket to come down like I just did there. For this ghost corner, there are three methods. Uh, I'm going to show the safest one first. Take, tank the shots in the front of your ghost and then hide around this rock. Alternately, you can cut the corner. It depends on what the enemy is. So in this case, it is a grunt. Duke twice because they have short burst length and they'll start they'll be more accurate after they finish a burst when it's an elite longer burst length juke once and then just do the corner it's a lot harder though and both of those traps depend on what the, if the second ghost is a grunt or an elite you, you'll make it through a lot more if the second ghost uh the farther back ghost is a grunt but it's impossible to scout that you can kind of scout the first what i do i'll scout the first if I see it's a grunt, I'll go for corner cut. If I see it's an elite, I'll do what I do here. Nice work, Spartans. And do the normal strat. That's what I recommend. Because grunt corner cut is quite forgiving. Now we're pressing this button through a wall as well. You can usually hear it before you see it. If you just hold uh, the action button. You can see my inputs. There are two ways to do this third button. This is the faster way. It's pretty forgiving, but it does require a little bit of practice. If you can't get it, you can do the box pushing strat. It's only a little bit slower. Push the box and rotate it 90 degrees as well, and it'll end up right under the button. Going around that rock to prevent getting, getting shot or anything. Now this driving here, uh, you don't want to flip, or you can get shot by the uh, the Phantom that's approaching. Start boosting once you're over that rock, so that you have enough boost to make it all the way here. I heavily recommend uh, getting a feel for this area, delaying the checkpoint, so I'm going to keep punching. You need both wings off, but there's a high chance that you're going to get, you're going to have to hop in your ghost, move it, hop back out. Make sure both wings are punched off. Now, first I'm just going to show the way I do Hunter Skip. And this is also the fastest way. Basically. Especially this part, last part. Driving the ghost all the way to the elevator. Now, what you should also do, is you should always switch your target locator here for a DMR. And if you can see the lineup, my, the wing of my ghost is around the yellow line, and then my crosshair, my reticle, is on the top of that concrete barrier. Now I'm going to boost and, and hold W and lift my ghost. Now once my ghost is in the air, I'm going to let go of W, hold uh, D to try and flip, get the flipping motion so that I get to, don't get ejected out of my ghost. <laughs> See, that time, I did not get ejected. That's not super clean, but still pretty clean. And you need to not really collide into any walls. This is a, still a fast method and pretty safe. 
for the ending, I mean. And this is the absolute safest way to go. Same, you, you're kind of forced to do this flip method on Legendary. The other methods are kind of dangerous. Backing up all the way to the barriers. So you can see that even though I hit something, I still get, got it because I backed up all the way to the barriers. And this is the safest exit. Can be a little bit dodgy though if there are two elite uh, grunts. If you see one throwing a grenade, you also want to shoot it with a plasma pistol to cancel its uh, grenade throw so that he doesn't grenade into the elevator. So now we want to just noob combo this elite and you can get a sneaky grenade off. Saves a little bit of time. Otherwise, just use a DMR and grenades. Now there are, uh, there are various conk jump routes. This is the safest one. If you do this movement, you really should never get shot um, in a way that will actually matter. I'm going to show an even safer route. Say, uh, hypothetically, you get shot a lot and you get really unlucky and you're one bar red or three bar red or something, you can take this route. And you should also recharge, have enough health to make the conk jump. Also, say you get shot a lot here and you can't afford, you can't, you don't have enough health for two conk jumps, jump off tune and then do one conk jump. And now I'm going to show the fastest uh, conk jump route. I will break it down a bit later, but I'm just uh, showing it. See, I didn't get shot at all there. Here's the line that I use. Oh, sorry. Here's a here's a mixed uh, hybrid method. Doing the fast conk jump at the beginning, and then the safe second half. This is probably, once you have a lot of experience with the level, this is probably the best thing to do. Now I'm just going to break down the fast conk method. I use that line here. That's where I aim my conk. Uh, the one that gets me up. You want to kind of spam jump and hold crouch. You can see my inputs. Uh, I don't know how to explain them too much. Uh, but yeah, the second conk, make sure that you don't crouch until you're well in the air. Otherwise, you can uh, you're in danger of short hopping. But yeah, you can basically see my inputs and use that use the timing. Also, the fastest way is to uh, you can see the first conk there didn't make it over this barrier. Now that's fine. You can just jump over. But ideally, what I was showing here. Ideally, what you want to do is bounce up off the wall and then get over this barrier in one go. Just a tiny little thing if you want to be optimal. For the ending, grab the conk and the health. Uh, grab the rockets and the health pack if you need it. Rocket these guys, reload immediately, and then uh, you want to go for three rockets here. So two, reload one, and then use a fourth rocket on this gunner. Reload. Throw a um, plasma grenade now if you have it at the phantom, just for some extra damage. Finish these two off with your next two. You don't track this. You don't usually need to track the first one, but I track the second one. And we have, this is why we have the DMR. Once again, uh, double rockets. Basically, the only advice I have for double rockets are be patient. When I see people messing it up, I see them being too fast. But yeah, just watch my timing and copy it and play around. Go on easy, mess around on this area on easy and just kill all the Banshees and reset and, until you're used to double rocketing. Because they do save a lot, but you know, not required for a good time. You do have a lot of time to lock onto a second target. But yeah, for the ending, just rocket the Banshees. And make sure that you're always moving around and grabbing ammo. I've now got an example here of me just doing a run through with the safe strats. Um, what it looks like all strung together. This was my second attempt. My first attempt, uh, unfortunately, had some lag issues, but I got a 548, 
on my first attempt. This is a little bit slower, but yeah, it shows you can get well down to the 540, 530 territory without any particularly bad, like risky or hard strats. But yeah, I'll just leave you with this. Um, if you have any other questions though, hit me up in my Discord or the Halo Reach Discord and the Halo Reach channel. And yeah, I hope this uh, has been helpful. Station has its own comms array. That should bring us back online with command. Airview Base has an anti air battery that will help clear the skies. station and get that comms array up and running. Okay, generator is up and running. Find that comms array. Could be up high. Moving into position. Attack. Six. Get here quick. We'll meet you inside. We're stalled in the tower atrium. Cat, where are you? Good work, Spartans. Return to sword base. The rest of your team is inbound. Imminent. Hitting this base hard.
done, Spartan. Noble team, long swords are inbound and ready to push. Orbital defense is standing by to take the shot.